What'd you say, Hinsley? This is the best printer ever. <laughs> yeah, it is. We spent a couple of nights recouping at this boondocking spot. It's pretty private. Uh, there is a road right here, but not too much road noise. It's about uh, 15 minutes outside the park. So location-wise, also really good. As far as accessibility, we forked to the right, came down this road right here. I would say 35 feet or less, you'll be okay. There's room for a couple of RVs here and maybe one or two down the road. Not a whole lot of spots. And if you're really big, it might be tricky. But uh, we got in here okay. And with us is Doug and Harmony and their family with Fumman's family road trip. They're here with us. They've got five kids. So she is loving the interaction with the kids. You guys got your chickens? Yeah. Wow. Oh, chick, chick, chick. This one here. Try to put the GPS for this one in the description. But a lot of the times I have to go back and uh, take time to find where we were, find the GPS, put the whole travel map together. And we take all our travel maps once they're completed and we're sharing those on Patreon as we finish those up. It's a chicken party. She's calling him her twin. Her twin? Yeah. <laughs> she refers to them as the twin. I'm gonna talk to Doug, but they've got a fifth wheel and a truck that they usually use in the lower 48. But, they bought this Class C, it's like an 89, it's high end in 89, but they bought this Class C just to make this trip, which is not a bad idea. How's it been? Uh, it's been a, it's been good. Um, we have a lot, we have a 40 foot fifth wheel that we travel in normally, so this is a whole different world. <laughs> but we've been in some camp spots that there's, I mean, even this one we wouldn't get into with our fifth wheel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's nice to be able to travel quick. Um, there's no slides, you can just pull in anywhere. Um, and there's seven of us, so normally we travel with two vehicles. So uh -huh. the travel, the trip to Alaska would have been expensive paying for fuel for two vehicles. You can definitely take a really large rig to Alaska. We know families and other people here doing that. But if you want to do stuff like this and you want the flexibility, it's not a bad idea to buy something. If you buy something used, um, get a good price on it, you can a lot of times sell it and lose little to nothing on it when you get back. I know that's what you guys are just planning on selling this yep. at some point before you get back to Oregon, right? Or Just along the way somewhere. Somewhere, yeah. Cool, cool idea, guys. We reserved Teklanika um, for three nights and pretty much exactly the two days that we have reserved to explore while we're in that campground, it's supposed to rain nonstop. So we're gonna do what we can. We still plan on going to the campground, but we wanna utilize the good weather while we got it. So we're gonna ride with them and get out of here. Okay. Oh, yeah. They're gonna hike with you? Uh-huh. All right, let's go. Hello again. Kinsley, do you know what that is over there? I'm gonna put your shoes right on. Right there. Oh, it's it is Denali, <laughs> that's right. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Isn't that beautiful? It's so beautiful. Careful. I'm beautiful. Visible today, I pretty exciting. So 30% of people that visit Denali National Park actually get to see Mount Denali, which is the tallest mountain in North America. It's over 20,000 feet tall. So we were driving by to go hiking, pulled over at mile marker 10, and you can see the mountain just peeking out in the distance. Very cool. Covered in snow. I mean, the rest of them have maybe a tiny bit of snow, <laughs> but man, it is covered back there. Right back there.
like a lot of stuff in the National Park, they do recommend bringing a bus here if you come at the right time of the day, which is a little bit later in the day. I know it doesn't look like it, but it is. Uh, and uh, you can find parking, even a Class C. So this is the farthest point you can drive in the park, is right over here, across this bridge. They have an actual checkpoint to make sure people are not continuing on, unless you're staying in Teklanika campground, and then you have a special pass and you can go like 15 more miles into the park, which is pretty cool. Only the necessities for our hike. Right? We'll be doing that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most stuffed animals. They go with me everywhere. Get some really scared. Water. Scare the bear. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful out here. Man. Just a little bit of everything going on. What do you think of the hike, Ainsley? Wasn't it pretty out here? Yeah. It's a very lush green with everything out here. And uh, the water is really flowing strong. I think the snow is still melting on the tops of the mountains and stuff and coming through. And it's, uh, it's just a beautiful hike. Anybody all ages, you know, pretty flat what we did on this one. So not bad at all. This is Savage Rock, which we'd heard is supposed to look like a, an Indian with a headdress, I guess. I don't see it. I'm sure Marissa does. I may just wait and check with her. My hair is... Hensley, what'd you do to my hair? Did you mess my hair up? Uh -huh. <laughs> it's supposed to be an Indian with a headdress on. I I I, oh, I do see it. Uh -huh. I honestly do. So here's a chin and there's the headdress. You uh, see it? Yeah. Uh, no. no. Maybe a little bit. Big one here. Oh yeah? Who yeah. else we got? Apple. Whirl. Hey, do you want to start doing the Junior Ranger stuff? Uh-huh. Does that sound fun? Is our center still open? Can I go run over there? What time is that close? Uh, uh, I don't know. It's 5 30 right now. Maybe it's still open. So starting at four, each of your national parks has like a junior ranger program. I think it's from four to uh what, 104? Something like that. Four to 104, yeah. yeah. Which you can start before four but they just kind of recommend four so that's been kind of where we wanted to start so this would be our first time setting hensley up with the junior ranger program ah closed at five hensley well at least you can ride a bear you want to ride the bear mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been neat hanging out with doug and harmony and their class c and just seeing and experiencing a reminder, I guess, of what it's like to have a motorhome and how everything's accessible while you go out on the road. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It is very handy. Oh, it's so handy. Um, everything's just with them. They take it because they've got a small, you know, motorhome, yeah. which is really obviously our 40 foot was a different deal. We couldn't take it with us everywhere, but just to take it to where we hiked and park it and then go hike and everything is with you. Pretty cool. You just have to pick and choose what's most important to you if it's space you know, or conveniences or separation or whatever it is. And it's just a temporary situation. They are definitely in tight quarters over there. <laughs> so long term, that would not be a good solution probably. But um, I don't know, we've, we've toyed with the idea. If we're gonna do, you know, Tennessee's kind of our home base. If we're gonna do something, try to rush, like we rushed up to Alaska, a motorhome been really nice. If we're gonna rush to Alaska, rush to California, rush, you know, Maine. There's certain routes that are gonna be pretty long. It would be nice to have a motorhome, but we really love our Airstream. Uh, we love the combo we've got. We love the van, it's done a fantastic job. So we are happy where we're at, but I think it's just part of what we do and who we are. We're always looking to grow and to challenge ourselves and to try new things. And I mean, I don't know, we're, we're, we're crazy, I guess. We just, we always seems like we're trying to get just a little bit smaller because it helps us um, the smaller we are, it seems like the more nimble we are and the more we can take our RV and park it somewhere and go hiking. Uh, pretty cool what you can do when you get small like that. We gotta get to our site tomorrow, don't we, Hensley? Uh -huh. No messing around. Uh-oh. Yeah, no more of that. That happens sometimes <laughs> after driving. Stuff just falls out of the cabinets. 
because we've still got close to an hour drive to get into the campground from here. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you and your Raven. This <laughs> <laughs> Raven's not happy. He's not happy? Why is he not happy? Because he doesn't have food. Oh, he wants some food. Well, we're about to eat. You want to say see you guys later? Can you say catch you guys later like a Raven? Catch you guys later! <laughs> 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 catch you guys later.